So what will be the product in this reaction? This reaction is basically acetal formation. You may remember this reaction. So you have a aldehyde and this reacts with 2 mole of alcohol in acidic medium and it finally gives acetal. So we can say for acetal formation a aldehyde and 2 mole of alcohol is needed now if you see this molecule this has 2 alcohol group and we have a aldehyde group so, in this case we will have intramolecular acetal formation. So, let us discuss mechanism of this reaction. First step is simply protonation of carbonylic oxygen, medium is acidic Now the next step we will have nucleophilic attack by oxygen so we will have this product we can lose H plus that is deprotonation we will have this product now the next step we can make alcohol as a good leaving group by protonation and finally we can lose one molecule of water and we will have a carbocation now if you see this carbocation is resonance stabilized by the lone pair of oxygen so we can write another resonating structure for the same carbocation now these two are resonating structures
finally we will have attack of this oxygen on this carbon so we will have this product and we can deprotonate to get the acetal so finally this acetal will be obtained in this reaction so this is the example of intramolecular acetal formation now let us say if i ask what will be the product in this reaction but again we have same kind of reaction only thing is in this case we have ketone in place of aldehyde and we have two alcohol group so this time we will have ketal formation so final product is ketal and this will be intramolecular ketal formation reaction mechanism of this reaction is same as we have discussed above let us write the final product that is acetal so this will be the final product we will have so this carbon will have a alkyl group so this is ketal so this is about intramolecular acetal formation and intramolecular ketal formation reaction